In this video, I'm going to show you how to create hyperlinks in Google Sheets, and then I'll also show you how to link to another tab or creating a hyperlink to a range of cells in Google Sheets. So the first thing we're going to cover is just linking to other websites in Google Sheets. There's a few different ways you can do this. Um, the first method I'm going to show is using the insert menu. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the cell where I want to create the hyperlink. And then I'm going to go up to the top to the insert option. And then there's an option here for insert link. So what this is going to do is it's going to open up um, this dialog box here. And what you want to do is paste the URL in this link section. So I'm just going to copy. Uh, we'll just link to Google. And then you hit apply and you can see it has created a link so now when I hover over it I can click on it and access the website so there's a few different ways to actually do this um, another option is just right click and you can access that same insert link option so right click insert link and it's gonna bring you to that same kind of thing and then there's a keyboard shortcut for it you can see here it's control and K so control K and that is going to insert um, a link also. So you can put the URL here. Um, the text is the text that's going to display. Um, you can also do this in one step. Um, in this example, I have the text already here and I'm just creating a link on the text. If you don't wanna do that, um, you can also just write the text and then um, put in the link at the same time. So that's an option too. Um, so that is inserting a link or creating a hyperlink through the insert link option. There's also a hyperlink function in Google Sheets. So to use the hyperlink function, um, there's a few different ways to do it. The basic syntax of the hyperlink function is uh, the first parameter is the URL. The second parameter is like the display text that you want to display for the URL. So URL has to be in quotation marks um, in your formula. And then you can also use cell references in either of these. Um, so the display text is also optional. If you don't designate anything, it's just gonna use the URL. Um, so what I'll do first is I will just create a hyperlink um, to, let's do Google. Um, so I'm just gonna paste the URL quotation marks and then I'll just leave it blank no second parameter so you can see it has created the hyperlink and the display text is the URL you can also add in um, whatever you want the display text to be I'm going to use a cell reference I'll just use that and there's my display text and it's a hyperlink um, so that's pretty much using the hyperlink function. Um, next, you can also insert a link to another tab. Um, so if you have a different sheet and you want to create maybe a list of sheets so you can easily access them, you can use this. Um, similar to the first few methods we have shown, um, you just need to access the insert link option. Again, there's a few different ways to do that. And then instead of putting a link here, you can see there's this uh, option here, sheets in the spreadsheet. So if you select that, then you can select a sheet to link to it. So I'm just gonna do sheet five, apply. And it basically has created a link here to sheet five. So I can click on that and it will open that up. Um, so this is sheet five. You can see we went directly to that. Um, last, I'm gonna show creating a hyperlink to a range of cells. So this is done again by um, accessing the insert link option. So I'm just gonna put some text here. We're going to insert link. And then instead of selecting sheets in the spreadsheet, you select, select a range of cells to link. And then from here, you can either type in your range or you can just select a range from um, your sheet. You can see I can do different sheets too uh, by changing the sheet location and then you hit OK and then apply 
and then um, you can see it's a hyperlink to a range of cells and when you click on this it'll select that range of cells um, so that's pretty much it for the video um, I'll place a link to the blog post where I go over this in further detail if you want to uh, learn a little more about hyperlink thank you for watching the video if you haven't already make sure to hit the subscribe button if you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.